Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah. I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what's in my nursing bag and in my nursing foot care kit. So I am a registered practical nurse in independent practice. I have my own nursing foot care business and I specialize in the foot and lower limb. So, um, okay, what's in my bag? So I have <clears throat> this bag from Vistaprint. I got it from Vistaprint. It is made out of cotton. Excuse that it is so wrinkled, but it actually is great because it can go into the washer and that is why it's so wrinkly right now. But it's a great bag. I've had it for quite some time and it's held up. Um, I probably have had it for about five years now. So I really like it because it is really, really durable. Um, it's, it's great, it's good. I like it, it's a good bag. So that's my bag. I like it as well because with Vistaprint, I'm able to just put my own logo on it. So that's kind of nice to be able to have that. And I like the fact that, you know, um, you can just, you can put it in the washer. It's, it's good. Okay, so inside of my bag, I usually carry, let's see, a clipboard. So I usually carry a clipboard because I like to have my work assignment on this as I'm seeing people. I like to know who I'm seeing, what time I'm supposed to be seeing them. So all of that stuff is on this clipboard. So I usually carry the clipboard in my bag. Um, I carry along with me this wound assessment guide. So I got this from the Canadian Association of Wound Care here in Canada. Um, you can, I'll leave the link down below uh, for, so that you can get it, but I like this uh, little guide because it's got everything in here from the, the wound, <clears throat> from, from the wound of size, the depth, the types of wounds that you might see, the exudate that might come out of certain wounds, just d different stuff like that. I really like it. So it just sort of helps to jog my memory and I really like this guide because of that. It's pretty neat. I really like it. It's good. So I usually just carry that along with me just because if I see anything, then at least I can say, okay, what was that again? And then just sort of use this as a reference. It's it's just there. You never know. Um, I also carry along with me my own nursing uh, pad. So again, if I had seen something and um, I wanted the patient to tell the doctor about what I've seen instead of them saying, well, what did she say again? Because I can't remember. I give them a little nursing note. That's all it is. Give them a little nursing note. They hand it to their doctor so the doctor can turn around and assess and treat. The only time I really use these things is if it goes beyond my nursing um, scope of practice, then that's when I'll sort of jot down notes and sort of say, okay, here, you need to take this. Give it, give it to your doctor. So I really like that. Uh, I also carry with me a tablet. Uh, so <clears throat> with me carrying just the note, the clipboard with my daily assignment, I like the tablet just because if I needed to look up anything about a particular patient, cause I don't carry files and stuff with me, then at least I've got my tablet with me so I can just get into it quickly opposed to using my phone and it's, it's here. So I really like that. Water, girls gotta have water. So <laughs> sparkling water. Um, I usually have snacks with me just because my uh, rides sometimes are quite lengthy sometimes getting to the next patient's place. So I'll usually have snacks, but I don't have any right now. So bottle of water. And then I've got other little things. So I just usually put a lot of little things inside of this makeup bag. And inside of it, I've got uh, hand lotion, hand sanitizer. <laughs> Uh, lip gloss because my lips always getting dry because it's I need to drink more water <laughs> and some chewy mints some breath mints yes because you don't need really bad breath when you're talking to people so, so that's pretty much what's in my bag and what I sort of carry in my foot care kit if you will um, is a whole nother bowl of wax so this actually is a toolbox. It's a toolbox. It's a Stanley workstation toolbox. And I really like it because um, I can pick it up. Uh, I don't have to let it touch the ground when I'm going to pe places, people's homes and stuff like that because I do uh, a lot of house calls. So it's great. It's lightweight. Um, it's got a great little handle. Oops. Sorry. It's got a great little handle on it as well. So... 
I can just roll it around as I need. And then it, like I said, it's pretty lightweight as well. So I can literally just lift it up wherever I'm going. And, it, and I, I like that, that it's pretty lightweight. So let's see what's inside of it. It is a Stanley Mobile Work Center is what it's called. And I picked this up from, oh, I believe it's Home Depot or Rona. Either which way, this was about, I have to say it's under $100. So I like this because it has two compartments. It's got a top compartment and it's got a bottom compartment. So we'll start with the top one first. So what do I have in here? I carry along with me, just, I carry along with me lotion, a thumb drill so that when I'm doing really thick nails, I can use a thumb drill to be able to uh, sort of debride the nails down. So I'll use that. Goggles, flat fold N95. Um, sometimes I'll need this. It's uh, just remover, uh, nail polish remover. Sandman's. Uh, I use, I believe this is a medium size that I like to use with me. So sand bands, I'll, I'll use those. A bag full of uh, non-sterile gloves, a bag full of cotton balls. Uh, I've got more lotion here. Tape, you never know, I might run into some wounds, so I might need to tape something down. <laughs> Saline disinfectant, okay. It's like a, a skin um, and a skin and nail disinfectant. Alcohol, so some rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer, and a callus softener. Um, oh, and I also carry it's a topical anesthetic. And that's pretty much for my um, kit of what I carry at the top. The other stuff is just a whole bunch of just hot mess that I'm really not gonna rummage through, but that's just stuff over there. And then of course, pens is what I also carry. Okay, and then at the bottom, um, I have a um, sharps container for all of those, um, the dirty sharps, and I just carry it in there and it locks, uh, it, it holds down okay. Um, I've got a dirty bin or tray, whatever you want to call it. I use usually put everything that I've used in here once I've finished with my sterile instruments, then I just throw them in here. It's, it's just myself do, using this, but um, if anyone were helping me with reprocessing, at least they know that, that it's labeled, it says dirty bin, they know that's what it is. Um, disinfectant wipes, so once I'm done using my to, uh, instruments that are not um, single use and I've got to wipe them down in between patients so I use that and I usually carry with me a pair of slippers into um, my patients homes it's nothing big but just a pair of slippers so um, I usually carry them in just because I don't like going barefoot into their homes so that's yeah that's pretty much it inside of the box oh, I forgot I also carry along with me oops <laughs> I also carry along with me isolation gown, an isolation gown. So I usually just keep this in my car. So once I get to my patient's house, um, I'll just take it out of the car and put it pretty much at the top of the foot care, the foot care kit, just inside of there. And of course, instruments. <laughs> like hello. So <laughs> instruments as well. Again, I just keep this in the car, and then I just put this with. Um, the isolation gown when I get to the patient's house and I just take that out. Usually I know what I need um, and all my stuff I just keep them like in one packet and then I just grab it and go. So yeah guys that's that's about it. That's about all that I carry in both my nursing bag and my nursing foot care kit. If you have any questions for me, any nursing foot care questions, any nursing entrepreneurial questions or just any nursing questions in general uh, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Bye.